In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to mix tracks from Spotify, Tidal, YouTube, BeatSource, etc. There are two versions of songs, one made for the radio or for streaming, and one made for DJing. The difference with the two is that the radio edit is as consistent with its intros and outros because these types of tracks are made for commercial playback. The DJ edit on the other hand does have consistent extended beat intros and outros and this makes mixing these types of tracks incredibly easy due to the added beats they have. Now, if you want to know where professional DJs download their tracks like those exclusive DJ edits, stick around till the end of the video. Anyway, if you're a beginner DJ, the most accessible way to get and play music is to either stream them or rip them from YouTube. And as a former pirate who did it exclusively with YouTube rips back in the day, I have developed three ways to easily mix radio edit tracks. The third way of which almost renders DJ edits useless and I'll get to this later on in this video. So with that said, let's start with the easiest method. The first way to mix radio edits is by simply echoing out the previous song away, then playing the radio edit in from where it begins. The advantage of this method is that it's stupidly easy to mix the next track in since the echo fades out the previous song naturally. So this trick works great, especially if you just want to mix to the next song right away or if you find yourself struggling to transition. The disadvantage of this method though is that it's pretty unsustainable. Nobody wants to hear a DJ set full of echo outs, so use this technique sparingly with the other two techniques I'll be sharing. The second method involves two things. Number one, the short intro section most radio edits have. Number two, and the section where they really begin or what we professionally refer to as the verse section. You see, most radio edits have inconsistent intro sections. Some range from 1 to 4 to 16 to 32 beats, etc. It's just never really all the same unlike DJ edited tracks. So to put some consistency when mixing these radio edits in, it's a good idea to loop their intro section and to mix starting from there. And here's an example. This song really starts here. But it begins with a 16 beat breakdown intro over here. So, the idea when DJing is that when you're ready to mix the next song in, we'll mix the next track in from its loop section. Then we'll blend both tracks together. Then, once we're ready to completely transition to the next song, we'll then release the loop and mix out. Here's another example. Now what happens if your next song does not have an intro section or if its intro is quite sonically busy? Well, the first thing you could do is B jump 16 or 8 beats backwards from the section where the song really begins or from its busy intro section. Keep in mind that this B jump method works best at Serato DJ. Then once the current song is playing and once you're ready to mix the next track in, trigger the next song from the beat jump section. Then ghost blend both tracks together, then mix out from the previous song. Hey. 
So the third method for me is the best way to mix radio edit tracks. The only drawback of this method is that it takes the most prep work to do. So before we get to it, let me be completely honest with you and let you know that most professional DJs don't use radio edits in their sets or stream music in their gigs. Instead, most pros download their tracks and use DJ friendly edits that contain intros and outros. Now you may be wondering, where do DJs get these types of songs? Well, most DJs including myself download all their songs from DJ record pools like BPM Supreme and Create Connect. And you can think of DJ record pools as huge libraries of music of all genres where DJs can download all types of tracks like DJ friendly edits, radio edits, remixes, instrumentals, acapellas, etc. The main advantage of record pools over streaming sites besides access to exclusive edits is the fact that you can download and keep all the music you get from DJ record pools forever because they're literally high quality mp3s fit for playback in festivals, clubs, etc. So if you want to get a huge discount on either BPM Supreme or Crate Connect, use the coupon code DJ Carlo when signing up on either site. FYI, Crate Connect is cheaper than BPM Supreme so consider that. Anyway, back to the tutorial. So how does the third method work? Well, the first step is to know how many beats your next song has before it really begins, as discussed in the second method. So for this song, which we'll refer to as the next song, it has 4 beats before it really starts. So the plan for this transition is to mix out from the current song's chorus section. And since we know that the next song has a 4 beat intro, we should therefore mix the next song 4 beats before the current song's chorus ends. And that should be here. So let's cue point that section as a visual cue to mix our next track in. And now with our tracks ready, let's do this transition. Here's another example. And here's another way to mix radio edits that takes inspiration from methods 2 and 3. Here's another example. Zip it down low. Now work it real slow. And that's it. Now before we end this video, let me know down below which technique was your favorite and include a clover emoji in your comment. And with that said, thank you so much for watching everyone and I'll see you all in the next one. Yeah.